Go. Okay, hello. So I'm giving you a simple tip on how to get rid of some burnt hot chocolate from some pans and some recommendations. So we made hot chocolate using milk, cocoa, sugar, uh, salt, and vanilla. And you start out with the cocoa powder, the sugar, and uh, the salt, and hot water. And what that does is it sort of you turns that into a sludge. You add the hot the milk and you the vanilla and you have hot chocolate. But by the end of the night, we made 500 cups and we realized all the bottoms of the pans had like this mound of burnt chocolate tar that was stuck to the bottom of the pans. Easy off, we used both of these easy off sprays overnight two times and it didn't really work. We tried using like Ajax and soaps um, with boiling water on the stove and that helped with the, the use of a, a wooden spoon scraping the bottom. Um, but so anyways, my recommendation comes down to use these stainless steel because the bottom, you can see we've got them clean now, but we, they were stuck on here for a long time too. But what really helped to get it off was a lot of hot water and just like Ajax or any dishwasher soap with one of these stainless steel scrunchies because you won't scratch the bottom. But our tough one was this one with the black painted surface. Uh, it scratches the bottom, so you can't use this uh, scarling pad. So we kept using the spoon, scratching, scratching, you know, because it doesn't scratch the surface, but it wasn't working that well. But this was the trick, was just an old piece of wood that has this uh, edge to it, and I was able to get down in the pot and literally cut, 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 and it took off the final last layer of uh, hot chocolate that was burnt to the bottom of the pan. So my recommendation, use the stainless steel bottom pan so you can scratch them. You won't scratch them uh, with a scouring pad. And if you only have the painted ones, then my recommendation is uh, lots of soaking with the hot uh, soap and then using this with the, with the edge so that you can really scrape off of it and it won't scratch your pan. Thanks.